video, I will show you all the latest features that were added to SharePoint lists. And I will start by the quick edit mode. On the quick edit mode, now you have a fixed height display all your rooms with the same height, maximizing the available space in the page, displaying more information in the same area. So if you go to your view selection, you will find two different options, out of fit height, where all the rows will adjust to the content, or fixed height, where all the rows will display the same height Another feature is the new row selection that now allows you to select rows with your keyboard instead of just using your mouse and also has a new layout with more information about what is selected or about what is copied. So I've selected the first row and now I will press shift and arrow down. And as you can see, I'm selecting rows with my keyboard. I can copy this with control C and if I want to create a new entry, I can do it using Control V and it will paste the entire row. Now, if I select another row, this will display the row that was copied with the black border, informing me that that row is available on my clipboard. Another feature that is available in the edit mode is the link to create a new item right from the bottom of your list. When in edit mode, you can create a new item directly from here. And all you have to do is click on the link and this will add a new line where you can start typing information. The error message experience was also improved and messages are now displayed with a different layout. So I will create a new item and I will not fill the mandatory type of column. Now, when I click to exit the quick edit, as you can see, there's an error here. And if I click, it displays the message saying that the title requires a value. So let's fix it and let's exit the quick edit mode. Another feature that was recently, until now, if you add a scenario where you want to display an image on your list, you have first to host the image on your SharePoint or get the URL for the image from somewhere else. Right now, what you can do with this new feature is create a new column of the type image instead of hyperlink slash picture. So if you do this, you will be able then to upload the picture directly from the list form, either when you are creating a new item or when you are editing the item. All you have to do is select a picture and hit the save button. The picture is then displayed as a thumbnail inside of your list and is hosted directly inside of my SharePoint. Images are stored in the site assets folder similar to what happens with the modern pages. So if you go to site assets, you will find a new folder called lists. And inside of the lists folder, you will find another folder with the name of the list and all the pictures that were uploaded from the list form are stored inside. Last but not least, finally, it's possible to rename the title column. For years, we used the title column in our list just because it was a default column. It was not possible to change the name. Now, if you want to rename the column, you can do it. All you have to do is to click on the rename, provide the new name. And when you create a new item or when you open your view, you will see your title column with a different name. So these are all the features that I have to show you today. If you want to get more content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Bye-bye.